afternoon YouTube live. I'm with the wonderful Will Cruston and we're in Portobello and uh, Will's going to be doing a gig at Scant Regard at the Mau Mau Bar at 9 o'clock tonight. Come and check it out. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm alright, yeah, looking forward to the playing as I always do. So we've just done a Facebook live interview. You can catch it on Will Crudston's uh, Facebook page, Terry Cedar's Facebook page. And I'm going to ask Will about five or six questions about who the artists influenced you when you were growing up, what music you listened to, what guitarist. So well, let's start with guitarists. So right. when, you've, when did, you, did your parents listen to music at home? or? Yeah, I mean, they were mainly into classical music and I, originally I had classical lessons. So okay. that's how I learned the guitar was yeah, playing that. And it was not necessarily what I was into, but um, I guess it helped with everything else I've done in, at the end of the day, so yeah. And then when who was the first kind of artist that you saw on TV or... or, or? You know, um, music or you kind of thought, oh, I'd like to do that, or or guitarists, or. Uh, well, the first band I saw was Adam and the Ants, so uh, that kind of was a big impression, made a big impression on me at the time. Um, and then other bands throughout the eighties, I guess, like Depeche Mode, Cure. Um, Who you just went and saw Matt Dan yesterday, night, yeah. yeah. Uh, stuff like that, really, and not necessarily because of the guitars, you know. Because, um, you know, as, uh, as I say, I was into Depeche Mode, a lot of electronic stuff as well, Cabaret Voltaire and all that. And Le Mans, yeah, I know you like Mans, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that stuff. So, yeah. And then when was, was Rachel Stamp the first band you got into? or? No, I was in a few bands before that. Um, I had my own band when I was about I think, 19 or something. Uh, my good friend Thomas Triton was the vocalist. We were called Jetpack. Oh, okay, Thomas. Yeah, okay. Thomas, yeah. Called Jetpack. Um, and we, basically, we were sort of a... Uh, that's kind of what I'm doing now, really. <laughs> it's like I had a beatbox and okay, and that's interesting. And, you know, stuff like that. And he's got all the demos. I, you know, I'm sure he's he's always threatening to put them out and put them on YouTube, <laughs> so they might end up somewhere. But they were good. The songs were good. And and then how did you? Uh, <clears throat> so when you formed Rachel Stamp, did you form it with David? How did you meet David? Don't mind me. David that Ryder was, Prangley. That was um, I just answered an advert, a melody maker that he put in. He would just moved to London from Wales. He was born in Wales. Okay. And, um, yeah, he was trying to find people to... Uh, he'd already written loads of songs. He'd already got his publishing deal with Anxious and stuff. Ah, and, um, okay. Yeah, he was looking for a guitarist. So, so I teamed up with him and we ended up writing even more songs and we got another a band together. We got signed after like six gigs or something. Oh, wow. Like, like it was back in like the day. Like it was then, like yeah, everyone yeah, was, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, unusual these days, but there you go. So you're a Tory, as well as you've got your own band, uh, she made me do it with the wonderful mm. Shahina Dax, and you as a solo artist, Scant Regard, new album out now. Let me get this out, give it a good plug. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Plug, plug, plug. yeah. Uh, um, so you are touring guitarist for the Selector High Pauling Black mm. and for Adamant. So what other bands, when you actually, if you get a chance to see them, that you've seen that you've always wanted to see play live? I mean, there's probably loads, isn't there? Which other bands would the, I want to see? Well, you've seen live when, you, when you're on a festival. Of all or oh what well, when I've been playing yeah. the bands that I played yeah uh, I'm trying to think um, well you said you saw the psychedelic furs the other night as well so you go you right. go to yeah, a lot yeah. of gigs as well as performing yeah, lots yeah. of gigs I do actually yeah I still enjoy going to gigs and um and I, I it's it's really cool when you're at a festival and there's like, like a few other bands that you want to see because that's a bonus you know you get Absolutely. to play and you see some bands you know some of these uh sort of 80s let's rock things have been quite interesting with ABC and uh, yeah, I love it. I used, I'm uh, friends with Mark White, who used to be an agency. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, and Mark Holman was really good. Did you, did you get great, to see yeah, him? Yeah. Oh, you were there, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So, also, Adam Mann's going to be playing Let's Rock Southampton two weeks' time, and we'll be playing mm. his guitar then, and tonight at Mau Mau. So have you got any more gigs coming up for She Made Me Do It? Or Scat um, Regard? I think the next She Made Me Do It one we have lined up is in, I think it's in September. And that's at the Water Rats. Ooh, um, great it hasn't, venue. It hasn't been announced yet, so okay. but it's supposed to be there. This is what I've been told, so I'll be posting about that as soon as it's uh, confirmed. And but, Rachel Stamp's got a gig coming up. Rachel Stamp playing, the end of November, we're playing the O2 Academy in Islington. Great venue, actually. It's a great so that'll, venue. Be, that'll be great. It's always great when we do that. And um, there's a lot of interest in that already, which is good. Still what about female nice. artists? That, so you, obviously you play with Pauline Black and she's amazing from the selector. Yeah. What other female artists do you like? Like when you're growing oh, I like up Grace or Jones. not? Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to try and get you to come to a gig <laughs> when you're not yeah. busy or working. Yeah. Uh, no, anyone no, else? Who else do I like? Um, female. I used to love the Divinals. 
Oh yeah, uh, that Australian he's, band. She's one of my favourite singers. Okay. Um, Chrissy Hamflet. Um, okay, good name. Chrissy Hines. You seen the B-52s well. ever? I've never seen them. No. Okay. No, amazing. They've but got they're playing with Adam, aren't they, in July or something? Or were no. they? No. Okay. No, I think we, they were talking about us doing some stuff with them, but it okay. didn't happen in the end for some reason. And Debbie but, Harry, do you like Debbie Harry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer Pat Benatar though. Oh God, Pat Benatar. Yeah. yeah. What about um, Joan Jett? Yeah, I love Joan Jett. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thank you very much. We'll have to go and do sound check now. <laughs> female vocalist. <Yeah. laughs> and you have an amazing female vocalist in your band yeah. called Shahina Dax, yeah. whom you were both in Rachel Stamp. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to post some videos later of Will as scant regard at the man bar bar. Have a good evening. Enjoy the football, but fuck the football and watch live music. FTF. <laughs> thank you. How do we end this? Oh no, wait a minute. That's the thing I don't know.